As Nigeria marks 64 years of independence, the nation reflects on both its rich heritage and the challenges it faces moving forward, dubbed the giant of Africa. Nigeria holds vast potential but continues to wrestle with obstacles to its progress. Trust TV's Dorcas Yakubu speaks with Nigerian youth on how to drive the nation's development. Here's the report. Nigeria's 64th independence anniversary is a key moment to renew commitment towards national progress through strategic focus on governance, economic development, education, infrastructure, and social unity. Youth leaders in discussions praise President Bola Amatunubu's administration, emphasizing the crucial role of youth in governance, leadership, and nation building. Things have been bad for a very long time. Nobody is a spirit, nobody is an island of knowledge, but we are saying we are coming together with force. But it cannot just happen in a day. It is a process, and the process is where we are. And I can assure you, and we are pleading, and that is why we are continuing pleading. We know that there is hardship. It's also affects us. We have families, we have brothers, we have sisters. You know, sometimes most of our young people don't even understand what is the role of a councillor. They don't understand what is the role of a local government chairman. By the time they sit down at the corner of their room, they just continue to put all the blames on the president alone. Not understanding that the president has his own constitutionally prov provided responsibility. So when you find yourself in a platform like this, it improves your knowledge about leadership and governance. If you look at our demographics, 70% of Nigerians' population is under the age of 35. They're young people. So that's about roughly 180 million people are under the age of 35. And so we need these young people who are already excelling in, um, in music, in movies, these people who are excelling in um, building unicorns, we need them in government. The conversation and the conference which Mr. President is planning uh, that are suggested we have started already. Dialogue is just the way out, not protest. Our demand to engage via dialogue is because we want to, we are, we are yearning for solutions, and the solution is already at our doorstep. Mr. President, that assured that at that conference, all resolutions will be implemented. While some believe the government is making progress, one youth leader offers a contrasting perspective. There is no single word in Northwest now that you take me to that I don't have somebody who I cannot go there. I know we have schools of skills and acquisitions, entrepreneurs in the Northwest, but none of them is functioning. I have not seen anybody from the government angle or from any NGO coming to rescue this zone. And as we speak now, that the, the Northwest zone is at the angle of falling down. As Nigeria marks 64 years of independence, the nation stands at a pivotal moment. Progress demands a united effort from the government, private sector and civil society with a focus on good governance, economic diversification, education, infrastructure and social cohesion to unlock the country's full potential. Dokas Yakubu, Trust TV News, Abuja.